Welcome to this build of a 65 inch wingspan Great Plains Trainer 60. We've now got all of the construction finished. So we've got the fuselage, got the wings hanging up there and in this video I'm going to be concentrating on the fuselage and getting that covered. It's had its final sanding and one thing that I will just show you which in the last video I hadn't quite finished and I said I'd catch up in this video is the engine bay. I haven't fuel proofed it because I was looking to put some colour on. So what I've done that, done with that is hopefully you can see there I've just painted it black and I've put some fuel proofing on it which is the epoxy watered down or uh, diluted slightly with 95% alcohol. So that's finished and ready to go now. Now I'm going to be covering both the wings and the fuselage in a combination of three colours. We've got red, white and blue. And this is Easy Coat, which I've never used before, but it's made by the same manufacturers, I believe, that make Oracover in Germany. So you would think it would be good. I, I, I have some... Uh, slight concerns having been practicing on little bits of balsa whenever you get a uh, some new covering it's really a good idea to practice with it with the different colors overlapping to see what shows through uh, whether the the red will bleed through the white if it's over the top of it and the, it does. The, the white is quite thin and transparent. Also with the blue you have to be careful if you put it on and you use too much pressure it will melt the glue and squeeze it out which kind of smears onto the white so I need to be really careful of that. And it doesn't stretch particularly well. Um, my findings anyway just with messing about with these bits of balsa. But we'll see how it goes and um, I guess this video is also going to be part review of, uh, of, of what this covering is like. But I would suggest you always want to test your coverings. I mean, this, I think it's, it's good to stick on up to 110 degrees C and from there on to about 250 degrees C it will shrink and it shrinks about 10% apparently. So we'll see how we get on with that. I, I do have a, a few concerns, I, I mean I, I've always used Litex in the past from World Models or a lot of the time anyway, not always, and um, World Models in Hong Kong and that's worked really nice, I knew where I was with that, I knew how hot, I knew how I could stretch it, so this is a little bit of a, a, a jump into the unknown, so it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Now as I said I've been testing, I mean it's, it's always worth yeah, just making up frames like this. This isn't actually a heat shrink cover. This is a poly span that I've been playing around with. But it's it's good to make up these structures just to see how the covering material goes on. A little bit of practice before you start. Now the tools and equipment I'm going to be using. I've got my meter ruler. I've got some shorter rulers. I've got a meter long a cutting straight edge which will be great for cutting the film. I've got some Scotch Magic Tape which if you just cut or rip off short lengths you can use it for taking off the backing of the film just makes it a lot easier if it's a bit tricky. I've got two scalpels, a number three handle of which I'm going to be using a number 11 blade and a number four handle for which I'll be using a number 26 blade don't know how much I'll be using the 26 but it's good to have them and always always a good supply of uh, new blades and don't skimp with the blades because it's surprising how quickly they become dull and you can uh, just tear the film or, or rip it a little bit rather than cutting it if you're not careful so good to have sharp blades I'm going to be using my Prolux digital heating iron for doing the most of the sticking down and some of the shrinking. Now I've done a review of this, if you look in the description below this video there will be a link to a review. I, I've used this for the last three and a half years, something like that, and I, I love it, I really do, it's, it's great. 
and being digital you can set the temperature nice and precisely. Now I've obviously got my cutting mats here that I'm going to be cutting the film on to prepare it and once I've done that I'm going to be putting the, the, the fuselage or the, um, the wing when I come around to do the wing on a towel on the bench. There's no point in Cover it, sending your model lovely, covering it nicely and then damaging it in the process. So we want to put it on something nice and soft. Now I've got a towel here, I think that's on the, it's in camera, and that's for my heating iron. It's a cotton towel, I can be working and then I can just put that down without looking. I used to have some silly little metal stand that always drove me nuts trying to put it on until I realised that actually you can just put it on a towel and I'm going to plug the iron in just here I've got a plug on this side of the vent bench and that will allow the cable to be out of the way when I first started covering I would have the cable down that side and the wire across and it drove me nuts so just something I've learned with practice now I've been drawing out the design that I'm going to have and there's a, a, a bigger one behind this is actually the wing behind and I've drawn it out on some this is wallpaper or wall lining paper and I just it's cheap big size it's great for that kind of thing I'll show you briefly what I'm going to do which includes the wing even though I'm not going to be covering the wing in this video because it all adds to the overall kind of scheme Right, before I talk about the plans, one thing I should have said earlier is I'm also going to be using my hot air gun just to do some of the, uh, the shrinking. Now, if we look at the wings, I'm going to be doing a fairly simple design. We've got the fuselage coming through here. We've got the fuselage coming through there and we've got the wings going across and we're going to have this blue band on the front, a white central portion and then red which includes the pattern following through to the, the ailerons. Really simple and I've done that onto this bigger sheet of paper behind me, I've done that full size and I know this is very faint so I apologise if it's not uh, if it's not visible I'll just zoom the camera out there we go and the reason I've done it out big like this is because I'm actually gonna cut these out and use them as templates but I'll put this aside now because we'll see this when we come to the um, the final um, uh, of doing the wings now this is the leading edge the blue then you've got the white with some text and then you've got the red and that's where the fuselage goes. So hopefully that shows, and I apologise if not, because it's very light. Now, in a similar kind of theme, let me just move the um, camera back in. Hopefully this will show up. There we go. So I've got the fuselage side, and I've just drawn this out really rough. I'm gonna have a, a blue t uh, fin, blue fuselage at the top, black window. I'm gonna have a white stripe down the middle, which isn't actually gonna be 35 mil. I've, I've changed that idea, it's gonna be smaller, about 10 mil. And then I'm gonna have a red underside. And I think it's gonna be red on the bottom as well. Now the underside, oh, the rudder is gonna be blue. The, under, the, the top side of the tail plane is gonna be blue. The underside will be red, so matching the view from underneath. And the top of the tail plane, I'm going to do blue, but I may add some colour afterwards. That's where there's some indecision. So anyway, I'm going to get on now and start to trim up some of these side pieces. Now, right, when I'm covering a fuselage like this, I would normally start with the tail plane first because it's a little bit harder to do. But because I've never used this film before, I'm, and there's a few little curves on here that might prove a little bit tricky if it doesn't stretch very well, I'm going to do the other side where it's nice and square. And I'm going to be putting on two side pieces first, which I'll lap, roll over, 
onto the bottom like that and then I've got a piece which will go on the bottom like that and the seam or the overlap will be on this bottom edge and so it won't be visible. Perhaps not as good in preventing oil ingress but to be honest I don't think it will make any difference, it will just look nicer. So I'm going to get those long pieces on now and do the bottom of this fuselage in that lovely red and then I will probably move on to the tailplane because this blue section that's going to come along here will interact with the tailplane so that needs to be done. Well, as you can see by the look of the fuselage and the video that you've just seen, I stopped filming the covering. And I, I've finished this side now and I've done this side of the tailplane, red on the underside and the, the blue on the top. I haven't actually done that side of the fuselage yet, I'm about to get it ready to do that. But I stopped filming it because I was just finding this easy coat anything but easy. It's not a material I've used before and I, I won't be using it again. I, I, I really don't like it and find it very difficult to use and unpleasant to use really because it doesn't stretch so it's very difficult around curves on these corners where you've got a little bit of a change of direction on the back here where the rear windscreen is. It, it, it's just very difficult to do that. On this change of direction here, before I actually put on the side, I put little pieces just lapped over so that this area here was covered, and I'll do the same here, so that when I put the side on I could do a slit in it and just literally fold it, because any stretching and you lose the colour, it goes kind of a, a soft strange consistency and you get glue smearing out from the sides going all over your iron and if you're not careful you spread it onto the other colours. It, it, it's I've nearly stripped this off to be honest a couple of times and um, and started again. If it wasn't for the fact that it does actually glue quite well <coughs> excuse me uh, and when you peel it off it leaves a really horrible kind of residue thick in the colour that you're because uh, it basically takes off the, the, the plastic film but leaves the coloured glue so because the, the actual material itself the, the film isn't coloured it's the glue that's coloured which is, squeezes out and smears everywhere so like I said I won't be using this again. I mean I've used lots of different films and if you look at my playlist you'll see I've covered quite a few different models 
and this is definitely the one I don't like the most and, uh, and, and won't be using again. So I, I won't be talking about techniques, normally I would say about you know stretching it around corners and shrinking and things like that but but I'm not going to be doing it with this uh, it, it's just uh, it's, it's just really unpleasant and um, I, I, I'm sorry if I'm sounding a bit negative I, I, I try to keep these videos positive but this is just doing my head in this this covering I am going to stick with it um, not only because I paid for it um, I haven't got anything else without buying something else to cover it and I'm kind of I am getting used to it but it's it's not a pleasant learning curve so what I'm going to do now I will will do a full review of this covering uh, and there are some good points it sticks really well and um, uh, if you get it right it shrinks really well if you get it wrong it kind of goes all soft and horrible um, but anyway I will do a full review what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get this side finished and the top and I'll keep doing little updates as I go and show you where where we, we're going with it so sorry there's not more detail in the covering but it's just it's if you want if you want to see more covering then go and have a look at my playlist at some of my previous and uh, I apologize for uh, for not showing it in this video oh. I've just put on these little pieces, like I said, on the uh, changes of direction where I can't uh, fold the film round easily and when I trim it, it would leave a gap. So I've done those, there's one at the front there. You can also see there's a bit of glue there that's come out. You can see on the front here, there's a, a smear of glue and, uh, and on this bit of tissue, you just, have to keep rubbing your your iron and keeping it nice and uh, nice and clean because the the glue just comes out if you're not careful and it won't come off with alcohol acetone isopropanol methanol it just doesn't seem to uh, to come off it just makes it worse and I've also done the uh, the corner there between the tail plane and the uh, fuselage just so that uh, I can then butt up from either side to that corner.
Well, I've now got the fuselage finished and I am really pleased to get this done because I, I haven't enjoyed using this material at all. I've included some high speed footage so you can see how I'm working. I know it's not particularly instructional, but I, I've included that anyway and if it helps, I, uh, that, that's good. The underside, totally red. The elevator, likewise and I've done a red uh, fin and um, rudder. There may well be some uh, trim to go on this. I'm, I'm still kind of thinking about that and I'll do that at a later date if I'm going to do it. I still haven't grown to love this covering material. The, the one thing I just can't seem to get around is how the colour bleeds out of the edge of the film or from the edge of the film and smears the colour next to it. it. It is just something, you know, I can get around, manage the corners, not ideally, but I can manage that, but you just can't stop the colour coming out from, from the edge. And you have to be so careful because, for example, there's a little bit of blue on this, uh, on this red here because I had some on the iron that had come out that I didn't notice and you just I just can't get it off um, so I may put a bit of trim on that but anyway I'm going to draw this to a close now and uh, I hope you found it useful or interesting and um, sorry if I sounded a little bit negative it's kind of sucked the life out of me a little bit using this material and as I said earlier it's not or I think I said earlier it's not a material that I'm going to be using it again well, except for the wings. I am going to use it on the wings and hopefully the wings should be a little bit easier than doing these curves on the, uh, on the fuselage. So thanks very much for watching.